This is the plaintiff, Sherry Ann Stevens. She says she had a fire in her house, and the insurance company relocated her to the defendant's house. When she was ready to move out, she asked the defendant for her security back, and the guy said she ruined his house. Ruined his house? What a liar! She's suing the scamming defendant here and now for the $3,300 she's owed and can't wait to see the look on his face when she gets it. This is the defendant, Roy Nozinski. He says the plaintiff lived the last month of her tenancy by using her security deposit. Not only doesn't he owe her any money, she owes him because she destroyed his childhood home. And he's coming after her for his losses here in court today. He's accused of being a liar. The defendant has filed a countersuit for $5,000 for damages. All parties, please raise your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the docket, the plaintiff had a fire in her house. Uh, she rented the defendant's house temporarily, says the defendant just screwed her over. But the defendant says she literally destroyed his childhood home. It's the case of Flame Out. Thank you, Douglas. Sherry Ann Stevens, you're suing Roy Nazanitsky, your former landlord, for $3,300 representing a security deposit that you feel he is wrongfully withholding. You have a counterclaim against her for $5,000. According to you, your actual damages exceed that and are $5,400 and change, uh, because according to you, she wrecked your childhood home. Let me hear from you first. Um, back in October of 2014, my, I had a fire at my house, and um, I had to be relocated by my insurance company. So um, out of all the apartments that I saw, I liked his house the most, so we rented it. Is it a house or an apartment? It's a house. Okay. It's a two-family house. Okay, so you lived on the top floor? On the top floor. Okay. Um, the insurance company agreed to pay him $3,300 a month. The list was supposed to be for six months until June. And if my house was not completed, that he would rent me on a month-to-month -month basis after that until all my repairs were done. Okay. Do um, you have a lease? I do. Let me see your lease that's signed by both parties. Do you have a lease? Yes, sir. Oh, yes, ma'am. Right. That's all right. Can I, let me see your lease. I want originals, folks, not copies. Oh, thank you. You rented it from when to when? December to July. This says November 3rd. Does that sound okay. right? November, probably, to okay. July. Okay. Let me see. It was supposed to be six months from November? Yes. Okay. Now, let me see what you have as a lease. Is this an original or a copy? It's a copy. <clears throat> okay. This is a completely different lease than I have, than he is providing me. This is your signature here, but mm -hmm. where's his signature? Because I don't see it on there. So who, were you dealing with him? Were you dealing with somebody else? Um, this is what I got from HomeSauce. Um, from where? HomeSauce, which was the company that paid him for the rent. Because I was, he was being paid by my insurance company. So you used your own lease that you always use. Correct. And then she signed your lease. Right. So let me hear from you then. You were supposed to leave in May, right? Or mm -hmm. April 30th. Yes. So did you talk to him and tell him I need to stay? It's still not ready. Did you say anything? Um, he was contacted by Home Source and myself, which he agreed to. to so you talked to him? Yeah. We All right. And he agreed you and can he stay. Agreed. He agreed. Right. Month to month. He okay. agreed to stay. Um, so, you know, I actually spoke to a neighbor, and then the neighbor said, you don't know him. You know, Roy is very, you know, uh, crazy. You know, he said, he said, you just be careful with him. He was like, you know, he had, he's like those tenants who were there before you downstairs, they moved out, and he didn't want to pay them their security money. He had an issue. They had to go to court. Okay. This so is when rank he, hearsay. This is so, rank hearsay. Uh, okay. So, so I'm just saying, this is what initiated the, the, the conversation about me beginning to ask him for the security, and that was in June. And he started giving me all, a lot of vague answers. We, I asked him on several but how occasions. Can you ask, you're still living there. Why would the guy give you your security while you're still there? I wasn't there? That's asking the for it, but I wanted to know. I wanted an understanding as to what the arrangement was going to be and how it was going to be done. No one can answer that until you've moved out. In other words, what can I tell you about your security deposit? If everything's fine, then you get it all back. In any event, what day do you move out? I actually was supposed to move out on the 2nd of July. Um, 
And um, when the movers came, I was not home. Apparently, he was at the house at the time. When I got there, I got in. When I got why to did the, the, why weren't you there when your movers were there? They got there before I did. I was at work, and I no, was I know, on my way. How much before you did? Like probably about twenty minutes. Okay. When I got home, I found Roy in the apartment with the movers. They had started packing the stuff, and I got very upset. I said, "This is where I live," you know. I have my personal belongings here. Before you just let people in, even if they're movers, I should be here. I don't why, think- why did you let movers in? Is that true? On the second, she still is occupying it. Why are you opening the door if we're talking about 20 minutes? I didn't know they were still occupying it. I was told by this home source company that they, that they were arranging to pick up their furniture. It's rented furniture from a, some company. Yeah, and I, I was, we have lots of text messages back and forth. Let me see text messages that she sent to you on or before July 2nd that led you to believe she had moved out. I don't have, I don't know if I could find a text message that she had moved out. Okay, well that's what um, you said. There were all these text messages. Here's July 4th. That's what there, there you are, said. That's why yes. I asked you to look for it. You there. said, well, there were all these text messages. All oh, right, so I guess you were overreaching then. Um, so now I tell me, been. You let them in to somebody else's place, which you shouldn't have done. All right, you come home and you're angry, so you start screaming it up. And what happens when you scream it up? Even while I was living in the house, there was many occasions, and he's my witness, where Mr. Roy let himself in. There was one day I came home and he called me at work to say, oh, that I had the heat on a certain temperature and he didn't like that. That was too much heat, he's not gonna pay. He lowered it and then he let himself back in another day and put a, a lock on it. On the heater? On the thermostat. What, does Elise say anything about how you can pop in unannounced or no? I never popped in unannounced, I always make a phone call, always. You make a phone call and you wait for an answer or you just? <laughs> yes, of course, I let them know that I'm on my way but that wasn't the case. I let them know I'm on my way, there not was, you making a mutually. Well, it sounds uh, like that. Yeah, okay, yeah. well that's there was not. A, there was a problem Unless with there's something that they sign where they say you can just pop in like you're the <laughs> RA and this is a dorm <laughs> and you can you know, come in anytime you want, none of which I see in the least, you really aren't supposed to do that. Now, who's the gentleman with his arms crossed? That's not exactly what happened. That's right. (laughs) My husband, you want to. Okay, so he was living there with you? Yes. Come on up. Had you had a problem with him walking in, or just your wife told you about it? I was in the house. I was in the house. He came in twice. They don't know I was home. Were you home at the time? Yes. Okay, so he just opens the door, didn't knock? He didn't knock on my mother in law. Was at home downstairs with Tower. So when she has a Tower, they walk in, the woman run upstairs. I said, What is that? He said, Somebody's downstairs. When I came, it was him. So I All asked right. him what he's doing here. Somebody live here, you're not supposed to walk in. Right. And he said, oh, this is my property, this is my house, I can do whatever I want to do. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely not. There was an issue with the heating system. They called me to come in to check the heat again because the upstairs bedroom was a little cold. They had the thermostat at 90. I didn't know a thermostat could even go to 90. And that was the issue. So I was in the house with their permission, telling me to come there and fix the heat. And that's what I had been doing. I never was there unannounced. All right, or, let's talk about um, July 2nd. You get into an argument with him because he's let the people into your house. And where's your husband on that day? Why isn't he? He was at work, but he was on his way as well. Okay, he, so when you I get there, him. he has already let the people in to take the rental furniture out. And mm-hmm. then what happens? Because you didn't exit on July 2nd. You ended up oh, staying okay. another what six days, and I need to understand There was why. an argument because of the argument between me and him. Um, the moving company asked the movers to leave. They felt like they didn't want them involved in whatever was going on between me and him, and that they wanted home source to reschedule another date. Okay, and so you stayed an extra six days? So home Where source, were you supposed to be on July 3rd? In Back in my house. Okay, you know. so now you believe that you should get your security deposit back because according to you, you didn't damage anything. Right. And you didn't stay over the time you're supposed to stay. When was the last time you paid rent? Um, or the insurance company paid rent. I have a listing of all the payments. I, I know, but I don't even trust whoever, because that's the same people who sent you a lease that was never signed. But let's see that. What's your answer? When was the last time that they paid rent? July. So they rent paid July. Rent should have been paid up until, f- until July 4th. Okay, is that accurate? The checks came from them directly to him. To where, to a bank account? Or in the mail? No. You, look, you don't look too some, short. Some they, ca- I don't, make some me run, don't make me run in circles for now. I'm like the police. 
Don't make me chase you. Did they pay you from June to July 4th? They eventually paid me, yes. Okay, excellent. Now, you Sorry. let the people in, you get mad, and now there's no move in a timely fashion. And now there's a, an extra four days. I have to figure out whose fault is that and whether that counts against you or against him. But according to you, you are keeping the security deposit and then some for what reasons? Tell me what damages you say she did to your home that you grew up in. Okay, the main damage was the scratched living room floor. There's Show me the pictures of the scratched living room floor. They're all here on my phone. And do you have pictures of what the place looked like when you rented it? You wanna, um, What's your answer to that? I don't recall the scratch, the, there being any scratches on the floor. Who lived there? You, your husband, and who else? My mom and my, my three children. Uh, did you have pets in there? No. Okay. And so now, according to you, it's going to cost $600 for you to fix the hardwood floors. Do you have pictures of the place the way it was handed over? Yes. Wait, scratchless. Scratchless. I mean, you understand what I'm asking, right? Yes. Also, she moves in in November of 2014. Did somebody live there? Before her? No. Do you know whether or not somebody lived there before you? I don't believe so. Okay. Now, this is June 12th yep. of 2014. So it was actually being uh, redone? The whole house was completely gut rehabbed. It's all brand new. And it had, it had been concluded when? Like when was the rehab concluded? Was she the first tenant? Yes. Okay. So talk to me about the changing of the locks. Apparently, at some point, they are sick of you walking in and out, and so they change locks. And then you had to pay $190 to a locksmith to change the locks to... I changed the locks. Okay. You changed the locks after they left? I changed the locks after they left, yes. And when I came why back, do they have to pay for it? Because she never returned the keys. Okay. Did you return the keys? Well, I was asking for an arrangement where we could switch keys, me get my security deposit. Oh, but that's not how it works. He um, gets 30 days to review it and decide what he's going to give you back. So you held the keys hostage is what you did. Okay, got it. What about um, was, the claimed, vanity drawer? That false panel there or whatever, it yeah, fell off? Yeah, I actually off? put it back before I moved. This is two days before I moved. It fell off on its own. And, really? Um, nobody he, pulled it out? Nobody pulled it out. Okay. And the carpet. According to you, you're charging $600 for the carpet. Why? The carpet was burned with an iron. Is that accurate? That's true. Okay. Show when me when I came back from vacation, I saw it back I on. don't know how to use a Samsung. Here's what we're going to do. Stand here. I need you to come right here. It'll go faster. So that's the drawer that was missing? Yes. All right. The panel. And, okay. Just All right, now I want, to, I want you to show me what's wrong with the rug. Well, this is the rug in the other room that has paint or something on it from the kids. This is paint on the walls. Ah, how okay. old are your kids? My son, he's five. Okay, well, the five year was that the five-year-old drawing with crayons on the wall? I can't hear you. You want to? Yes I or no? That, yes. Or was but that I you? Washed, okay, I mean, but, so these are pictures that he took before you moved out. Yeah. Okay, show me the iron one. That's the last one I want to see. Here. Okay, so go ahead and, and take your place back there and show me the evidence that these things are gonna cost the amounts you're saying. Well, unfortunately, Your Honor, the only thing I really have is the... Um... You have to be kidding me. So do tenants respect the houses or apartments they rent? What do you think? Not usually. No. What's that? Well, I think it's because you don't own it and you get comfortable like it is your home and so you treat it... Yeah, but if you get comfortable, wouldn't you respect it? Um, well, I think up to a point because you live there, but you don't, you don't own it. I know, but do, I mean, would you respect it or do they just automatically like they'll put crap in the shower and just let it sit in the tile and ruin it? Is that just the way it works? Um, I would personally would respect whatever I own or rent, but not everybody. Do you operates. think most people don't if they rent? Yes, I agree. Boy, this is a hard stretch. I gotta tell you, going inside the courtroom. No, I, I only have what it cost me to do the floors for the house. Let me see that. Yeah, what I, evidence, where do you get $600 from to fix the carpet? It's twelve dollars a square yard. I could get property for twelve dollars a square yard installed. That's how it works out. Why don't you get an estimate if you're coming to court and laying claim to someone's money? I only had two weeks to come here, and there was family matters. That two weeks? Do. do it two weeks ago. If you tried fourteen days ago, <laughs> they might have been able to do it on day twelve. Yes, Your Honor. Five hundred dollars for a cleaning fee. I see that inside of the lease it says that you you are agreeing to a five hundred dollar cleaning fee. Right? That's right in the lease. Did you read the lease before you signed it? The copy that I had. <laughs> okay. 
So what you are claiming, it's $3,300 a month, correct? Yes. And what you are claiming is July 4th through August 4th? Because you didn't get paid after July 4th? No. Is that correct? Yes, I did not get paid. Okay. Let's go over what you are claiming in damages. Do you have proof that it costs $190 to change the locks? I have the cost of the locks. I didn't, I didn't produce a bill, no, Your Honor. Whose labor, yours? Yes. It's, it's, I manage the property, Your Honor. That's lovely. Okay, what proof do you have that it's gonna cost $600 to fix those hardwood floors? You said all I have is proof of the $600. You hand me this, this isn't proof of the $600. This is proof that you got the job done a few months before she came in. But it's not proof of the $600. Here's how it's gonna work. I'm going to award you the amount. I'm going to entitle you to keep from the security deposit based on the proof that I have heard here today, the following. The 1949 and 2480 in locks, you're entitled to that. An amount that I decide on the floors because you brought me zero proof of it and I'm gonna decide that uh, those are gonna cost you about $400 to remove. The amount for the carpet that she acknowledges having uh, damaged, the cleaning fee you're entitled to, and that takes care of everything else you're complaining about because that takes care of the crayon and that takes care of absolutely everything else. That's a total in damages of $1,544.29. I'm gonna allow you rent for the period of time that she stayed over, and that means that you are entitled to keep from the security deposit $1,969.29, which means that you owe the plaintiff $1,330.71. That is my verdict. Good luck, folks. Thank you, Your Honor. Well, you, you defendant here, the landlord got to keep a chunk of the money, uh, although your evidence was a little faulty. Yeah, I had a, a little difficult time gathering uh, the receipts that I had. If you want to go into court and prove your uh, damages, uh, what should you do? You should have very good records. Absolutely. Uh, so next time you get sued, remember that. No yeah. question. All right. Thank you very much. All right, so step on in here. And uh, you didn't get everything you sued for, but um, right next to her, uh, what's your reaction to this? I'm disappointed. I always thought verdicts were based on evidence. Well, there was damage to the rugs and other things that were pretty evidentiary, don't you think? Well, the damage is that I thought were evident. I admitted to them, and I'm just disappointed. <laughs> All right, Harvey. Okay, Kurt, I got to tell you, this defendant is lucky that he got any money without providing estimates. Uh, this is a very basic thing, and a lot of judges will just shut you down.